In a world where thousands of species of animals are used as guard dogs, it's hard to know which ones you would want to avoid. Are you on the prowl for a guard dog? These dogs are ferocious and will destroy any intruder that comes near. Animals that are majestic, beautiful, and fierce all simultaneously. These funny-looking yet vicious beasts can strike fear into anyone's heart in no time flat. Regardless of size, these animals put even the most loyal breeds to shame regarding ferocity and attitude. There are many different breeds of animals out there, but the one you don't want to mess with is the following. 20 Guard Dogs That You Don't Want To Mess With Number 20. German Shepherds The German Shepherd is the very definition of the ideal watchdog. They have all of the necessary characteristics, and as a result, they make the best companion dogs. They have a protective and affectionate nature by nature, and with the correct kind of training, they have the potential to make great guard dogs. If a German Shepherd has had the appropriate training, it does require a firm hand. But if the training has been done well, you have the ideal working and family dog on your hands. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you consider a dog employed in the role of a guard dog? Which scenario would you prefer to witness? A cool and composed dog walking behind a security officer or a fierce dog barking at an intruder trying to keep them at bay? Although both of these scenarios have occurred and continue to occur, it's not accurate to say that they make up the entirety of a working guard dog's day. Dogs that have been trained specifically to safeguard a location are referred to as guard dogs. To provide further clarification, they are dogs who have undergone extensive training to the point where they can ward off intruders and protect people or property. In most cases, this refers to private property including homes, companies, and families or individuals who require protection. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Staffordshire Bull Terriers The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a dog known for its innately protective nature. It's possible to train a Staffy to be an outstanding protection dog by capitalizing on its natural tendency to watch over and look out for its people. The loyalty of American Staffordshire Terriers to their human families is legendary, and in general, these dogs get along well with young children. Because of their stoicism, intelligence, and work ethic, American Staffordshire Terriers make terrific guard dogs. There is a tendency for American Staffordshire Terriers to be wary of strangers. Around the turn of the last century, these pit bulls were brought to the United States. Even though some of them were employed for combat, many ended up becoming permanent fixtures on the border and at home because of their gentle yet hardworking character. However, most kennel associations were reluctant to acknowledge dogs with a history of participating in fighting. Most AM staff members now lead quiet, calm lives as members or families. They are exceptional in numerous professions including guarding, police work, and agility and have garnered a wonderful reputation. Number 18. Doberman Pinscher Large, graceful, athletic Doberman Pinschers are noted for their self-assistance and highly trainable personalities. These dogs are renowned for both their athletic prowess and intellect. These dogs are highly capable of showing affection, especially toward family members, despite the outdated perception of being a brusque and even a hostile breed. Dobermans like to stay active since they have a lot of energy. Even if their size permitted it, they would not like playing the role of a lap dog. The breed is renowned for having high energy levels, even when sleeping. Although regular exercise also helps the dog's energy levels, these dogs must be exercised regularly to stay healthy. The Doberman appears to be courageous, self-assured, and capable. Although the breed has a hard exterior, it is considered sensitive. They will retaliate to harsh treatment by being agitated and hostile. They shouldn't be exposed to frigid temperatures for an extended period because they are sensitive to the cold. While the Doberman is wary and vigilant of strangers, it behaves very differently around its family. Dobies enjoy being around their owners and are friendly with them. They enjoy playing games and despise being left alone in particular. Because of the breed's propensity for separation anxiety, owners who are away from their pets all day are not advised. Number 17. Borbles the Borbel is a large working dog kept as a pet. The South African Mastiff is a tough breed to protect the homestead and harsh African conditions. It is very strong, muscular, and very loyal. The name Borbel comes from the African's language and means farmer's dog in English. 
A Dutch African farmer is called a boer in Africans, and the word boel comes from the English word bull. It's hard to say exactly which breeds were bred together to make the first borbles, but it's known that several African dogs were in the mix. People think that European dogs like the old English bulldog, the bull terrier, and some animals that look like mastiffs were bred together to make this strong, brave, and loyal breed. Borbles are hardworking dogs with a reputation for being able to adjust to harsh conditions that change all the time. The breed is also used for tracking. It has a strong instinct to catch prey and is very alert when outside. The Borble is a big dog with a height of 64 to 70 centimeters and a weight of 70 to 90 kilograms. A Borble that is healthy will live to be between 9 and 13 years old. Number 16. Caucasian Shepherd Dog most people thinking about getting a Caucasian Mountain Dog want a trustworthy guard dog for their property to keep them and their family safe from any unwanted intruders, whether those intruders are people or wild animals. A Caucasian Mountain Dog is an excellent choice for this role. The capacity of the Caucasian Mountain Dog to defend its home region from both human and canine trespassers has earned it a well-deserved reputation. It's a well-established fact that Caucasian Mountain Dogs are capable of patrolling an area and providing protection against both human and animal intruders. This requirement for protection can be well satisfied by the powerful Caucasian Shepherd, a breed of dog specifically developed to defend flocks of sheep from being attacked by wild animals. What precisely is the distinction between aggressiveness and protection? In the bond between the dog and its owner, their time spent working together throughout training and their interaction. The Caucasian Shepherd is a dog breed with an endearing and friendly personality. Yet, because they were developed mainly to defend cattle, these dogs are extremely protective of their masters. This breed has an instinct to watch after everyone and everything in its territory. Because it's so distrustful of new people, this kind of dog requires an experienced owner. Without the appropriate training, this breed can be very dangerous. Because the Caucasian Mountain Dog is not like a conventional city dog, those considering a Caucasian of Charka need to consider a few factors and seek advice before committing to do so. Number 15. Siberian Husky You should consider what you want from a dog before getting a Siberian Husky as a pet. If you want to add a dog to your family that is active and fun, one that you can take for a lot of walks, and one that will sometimes act like a clown and make you laugh, a Siberian Husky may be the right dog for you. On the other hand, you should look at a different breed of dog if you want one that doesn't mind being left alone for long periods and will protect your home while you're gone. They like to play and talk to people, making them fun around the house. They get along with kids because they like to play and have fun. They can also be curious dogs. Even though this social behavior has its downsides, if they are left alone for a long time, their behavior can change for the worse. This is called separation anxiety by most people. They might even go on a rampage and damage your property. If you're going to be gone for more than an hour, you should put them in a crate. Number 14. Wolf Dog Most people agree that wolves were the ancestors of all modern dogs, from the tiny Pekingese to the English Mastiff. This split happened so long ago that no one knows for sure when people began keeping dogs as pets. Even though dogs and wolves have a lot in common, wolves are not domesticated and shouldn't be kept as pets. Sadly, that hasn't stopped many people from trying to make wolf-dog hybrids into pets, which has turned out to be a bad idea. The wolf-dog hybrid is growing more frequent in the United States despite measures being made to discourage individuals from breeding these potentially hazardous creatures. There are laws prohibiting them in several states, including Pennsylvania. In some locations, the owners must keep them behind tall fences and post warning signs so that their neighbors are aware that they are hazardous. Even so, people who want to own one will still buy pups from breeders in states where it is illegal to do so. Sometimes, a wolf's owner just has a romanticized idea of how humans and wolves interact with each other. Other people who want a unique guard dog think the wolf dog mix will work. Because the animals have dog genes, they are wild animals. They are naturally aggressive like wild animals, but don't naturally fear people like wild animals. They aren't bred to be good guard dogs, but they are likely to be very protective of their territory. Number 13. Dago Argentine Large animal hunting was the initial objective of Dago Argentinos, but they may now serve another use. For over 25 years, the Georgia-based business World Class K9 has bred and trained Dago Argentinos as family security and bodyguard dogs. Tropical, another Dago, is 105 pounds, and Achilles, the owner Julius Henry's favorite dog, weighs 95 pounds. 
They are not to be messed with since they can take down wild hogs that are six times their size. As members of the Mastiff breed, Doggo Argentinos are naturally protective and quick to train to be guard dogs. Unless trained for hunting, this breed is better regarded as a guard dog. The Doggo Argentino is less widespread than other huge guard dogs, like the German Shepherd, yet he makes a terrific family dog since he is devoted, has no fears, and adores people. The Doggo has a negative reputation for being aggressive and has become the breed of choice for certain dog fighters because of his speed and aptitude for hunting. He is still not permitted to live in other nations, including the UK, New Zealand, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Singapore, Ukraine, and Israel. Number 12. Rottweiler Rottweilers are bold and brave dogs that won't back down from any kind of fight. They are loving and calm, but they can be wary of strangers and will protect their human family members. A Rottweiler usually won't let strangers pet him, but that's because he's not that kind of dog. Their ancestors were chosen to protect herds. Later, they became well known as the dogs of butchers, and in the 1900s, they were used as military dogs because they were so good at keeping watch over the land and the family safe. Because Rots are so strong and have strong personalities, we must pick the right one and get it from a good breeder. We won't say it's the right dog for everyone because its natural traits make it harder to handle than a normal puppy. When things aren't right, it's usually because there was no character choice at all or the dog wasn't socialized enough. Not only is it important to choose your Rottweiler carefully, but it's also important to socialize him with other dogs and people of all ages when he's a puppy. Number 11. Bull Mastiff the Bull Mastiff is a large, confident, and strong breed of dog that gamekeepers first created in England to stop poaching on large estates. They are often called the Silent Watchdog because they don't bark at strangers but instead use their size and strength to scare or fight them away. The Bull Mastiff is known for being a gentle giant around its family and very loyal. They usually have a good attitude, love their family, and like to be around them. Even though they have strong instincts to protect, they are not as aggressive as they used to be. These dogs can be strong-willed and stubborn. When gamekeepers used them in the 1800s, they were raised to be able to think and act on their own. Training is important if you want this big dog to listen to you and know that his family is in charge. If you don't, your bull mastiff will try to take charge. They can do well in homes where all the adults work during the day, but it's important that when people are home, they get a lot of attention. This time with the family is important to keep them close. They won't do well if you leave them to themselves all the time. Number 10. Chesapeake Bay Retriever the very protective attitude of Chesapeake Bay Retrievers makes them an excellent choice for guard dogs and watchdogs. In addition, they have a propensity to howl if someone knocks on the door or enters the house. How you train them, as well as whether or not you reward them for barking and other protective behaviors, will determine the level of effectiveness they have as a watchdog. You should consider getting a Chessie if you are looking for a dog that's not only a good watchdog but loves to have fun. They never stop making noise whenever there is a sound or unfamiliar person on your property. Be sure to train them properly to develop their instincts to be good guard dogs and other protective behaviors. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever breed is known for its innately protective nature. They have a guarded attitude towards their household and their family. Chessies have a propensity for keeping an eye on everyone in the house. Hence, if you have children or a significant other living in your home, your Chessie will also become protected over them. In addition, Chessies are extremely possessive of their homes and properties since they do not appreciate meddling from people from other communities. If they see anyone else in the neighborhood, they will give you a warning bark before approaching that person. They will also make a ruckus whenever there is a disturbance in the neighborhood or a knock on the door. Number 9. Appenzeller Sennenhund The Appenzeller Sennenhund developed as an all-purpose farm dog breed that kept active in its native Switzerland by guarding the property, herding the cattle, and pulling carts. The energy, intelligence, and self-assurance that make Appenzeller such valuable working dogs still exist in today's breed, but they are anything but low maintenance. With a short but dense multicolored double coat, the Appenzeller Sennenhund is a medium-sized herding dog breed from Switzerland. The dog is square, balanced, and muscular all around. It has almond-shaped eyes and triangular drooping ears on a wedge-shaped head. The breed is quite adaptable, having been employed for various tasks around farm and as a cherished family pet. Despite being purebred canines, you might find them in shelters or with rescue organizations. 
Don't forget to adopt. This dog breed needs a lot of training, exercise, and employment. Beware, apartment dwellers. These dogs require room to play and run. However, families that can provide these dogs with the mental and physical stimulation they require will be rewarded with a devoted and lovable pet. Even though they will adore children, they could develop certain hurting behaviors if not properly trained. Early socialization and training will result in a devoted, furry family member. Number 8. Akita When you have an Akita, a home security system is not necessary at all. This courageous and watchful canine is exceptionally wise and alert. The Akita was designed to be a guard dog, and their wariness of other people and other guard dogs directly results from their intense loyalty to the people they live with. Hachiko, a Japanese Akita, arguably provides the best illustration of the unwavering devotion that an Akita shows to its owner. Hachiko is considered to be the best Akita ever. Hachiko, the most loyal dog in the world, was known for meeting his owner at the railway station daily after work. Then, abruptly his owner did not show up one day. He had passed away unexpectedly due to a brain hemorrhage. Hachiko did not give up his post at the train station, where he had been watching for his master's return for almost a decade. Even though that day never arrived, Hachiko's unwavering devotion has been memorialized in several tales, films, and even a statue erected in his honor. Therefore, nothing compares to the love and protection that an Akita can provide. Number 7. The Giant Schnauzer is one of the primary responsibilities of domesticated dogs, which has always been the case, is to guard their owner and even their property against animals or people not desired. This particular breed of dogs is recognized to possess the attributes needed to keep unwanted intruders away from home, even though most canines in today's world will respond instinctually to guard the home. Simply put, these breeds are considered guard dogs principally due to their physical strength, resilience to pain, disposition, bravery, and loyalty. The Giant Schnauzer is one of the breeds that is considered to be one of the most popular guard dog breeds. When given the appropriate training, they make wonderful companions since they are trustworthy around youngsters and respectful of their owner's boundaries. Because aggression is a prevalent characteristic of the Schnauzer, keeping tiny dogs and cats away from them is essential. The Schnauzer will chase these animals, and the chasing itself can inflict serious injury to the smaller animals. It's recommended that you do not have any other pets in the home besides this dog. Confine them to an enclosed yard, and always have a leash on them when you take them for a walk or go jogging. The training for this breed varies from dog to dog, but it should begin as soon as the puppy is old enough. Number 6. Catahoula Leopard Dog Many new dog owners fall head over heels with their pups. They hardly ever consider the potentially harmful habits that their dog might exhibit as an adult beyond these early weeks. One issue you need to attend to quickly for the best results is aggression. Can you anticipate a catahoula to exhibit any aggressive traits if you own one? The catahoula can become aggressive because of its strong owner loyalty. Additionally, they enjoy displaying their authority, and anyone they see as posing a threat to it will face challenges. Be sure to educate yourself about the temperament and personality of the Catahoula if you're thinking about bringing one home. The joyful breed may see for themselves is not necessarily true of these dogs. Despite their incredibly attractive canines, you need to know how to approach the breed most effectively. The fiercely devoted Catahoula will do anything for its chosen master. This can occasionally result in issues that are aggressive and come from feelings of protection. They will do anything to protect their family, including risking their lives. They tend to be a little reserved with persons they do not know well. They, therefore, typically make excellent watchdogs. They are usually quite affectionate and loving around the appropriate person. However, if they sense something isn't right, they come out quickly to defend themselves. Number 5. Australian Shepherd these puppies need a lot of exercise and have a lot of energy. They love having room to run around in and playing long games of fetch in the park. Like many active dogs, they can become destructive or even mean if they don't get enough exercise. But it's not just about the way they look. Aussies are one of the most smartest dog breeds in the world and it's also important to keep their minds active. You need to be sure they have enough toys and space to keep them busy when they're not running outside. Australians enjoy spending time with their families. They get very close to each other and can be very protective. Their history as herding dogs taught them to be protective. 
Many people think that herding means chasing sheep or cattle into pens, but herding breeds also have to work as guard dogs. They must keep their flock safe from wolves, bears, and other animals that could hurt them. Even though they aren't protecting you from bears, the mailman is just as scary to them. Number 4. Romanian Maiorotic Sheepdog you just need to look at a Romanian Maiorotic Sheepdog to realize that this breed was intended specifically for herding and protecting animals. Its huge, stocky physique as well as its thick, dense coat are sufficient evidence to show that this is a breed that is native to mountainous areas. The Romanian Maiorotic Sheepdog evolved from the Carpathian Mountains of Romania, where it acted as a shepherd dog and a herd protector. Both of these observations are valid. In addition to dutifully carrying out their responsibilities, dogs of this breed are famous for their peaceful demeanor and impeccable manners. You just need to take a look at a Romanian Maiorotic Sheepdog to realize that this breed was intended specifically for herding and protecting animals. The Romanian Maiorotic Sheepdog is a large breed of dog with a coat that is long and curly and of a lighter hue. Herders adore having this dog around for both herding and protecting their sheep. It is a natural guard dog, and when it comes to guarding the people and things that it loves, it will demonstrate a huge amount of aggressiveness. The Carpathian Mountains of Romania are where this breed of dog first appeared. Young sheep is the literal translation of the Romanian phrase, Maiorta. The breed was subsequently given the name Romanian Maiorotic Shepherd by its herders. Number 3. Estrella Mountain Dog Animals have traditionally played a significant role in daily human lives. This is especially true for the dog, the only animal to have received the honor of being called man's best friend. Dogs have been employed for ages as bedmates, lifelong friends, weapons in the hunt, and defense against animals and intruders. The Estrella Mountain Dog, a truly gentle giant, is also known as the Portuguese Shepherd or Cow de Serra de Estrella in its native Portugal. It has been employed for the companionship and protection of people and their property for many years. They are wise, kind to others, and always on guard. Even the Portuguese police utilize them as working animals. Additionally, they are strong and beautiful creatures. When combined with their animated, calm, and expressive face, their broad, rounded head and relatively short muzzle give them their distinctive mastiff-like appearance. Their muzzle and skull are usually equal in length, with the skull occasionally being a little longer. The larger frame and deep chest of the Estrella Mountain Dog give it a well-balanced appearance. They make perfect guard dogs because of their enormous size and commanding presence, and because of their inherent athleticism and solid build, they can fight off any kind of predator if necessary. A noble creature with a proud bearing and loving demeanor, the Estrella Mountain Dog is a fantastic choice for playmates and family defenders. Number 2. Alaskan Malamute if you come across one of these dogs suddenly, you would probably think it was best to get out of there as quickly as possible. However, does this imply that they are capable of serving as guard dogs? Even though Alaskan Malamutes clearly have the appearance of a guard dog, in reality these dogs are not suited for a career in this field. They are a breed that is known for their friendliness and affection towards people. Even though they don't have the temperament of a true guard dog, they can terrify strangers and make an excellent addition to any family as a pet. A real guard dog must possess more than just a frightening appearance in order to be effective. They need to be more than a dog that merely makes a lot of noise when they see unfamiliar people. They have to be ready, willing, and able to defend you and your property no matter what comes their way. The Alaskan Malamute is not a dog you should mess with under any circumstances. If you let yourself in anyhow, despite the fact that they appear menacing and may even make a lot of noise while they are behind a fence or a locked door, they will immediately become your closest companion. Number 1. Great Dane As a method of self-defense, getting a dog is something that a lot of individuals choose to do. The presence of a trustworthy guard dog can deter would-be burglars and keep you and your family safe from harm. On the other hand, not all canines or dog breeds are suited for duty as significant as this one. If you want a reliable dog that will keep your family safe, a Great Dane is one of the greatest dog breeds you can choose. However, guard dogs and protective dogs are not always interchangeable terms for one another. The major difference between a guard dog and a protective guard dog is that the latter may easily become a member of the family, while the former may not be as comfortable with the same level of socialization. 
Even though companionship is the primary reason many people want a dog, dogs have a lot more to offer. Since it's common knowledge that dogs are man's best friend, on the other hand, certain dogs can guard their owners and families. Most of us are aware that the Great Danes are quite big. They are, in point of fact, one of the largest dog breeds. Adult Great Danes can weigh anything from 110 to 175 pounds and stand anywhere from 30 to 34 inches tall. Their height can also vary anywhere from 24 to 38 centimeters. Now that you are aware of the dog breeds you shouldn't mess with, which of these dogs will you love to invite into your home and why? Share your ideas with us. We are willing to engage with you.